Hi, my name is Lisa. And I'm Wade. And this is my Airstream adventure. We had the opportunity to take out a 25 foot flying cloud and it has been a fabulous experience. We took our Airstream out in Horsefall Campgrounds. It's the southernmost Oregon recreational dune area and so we actually have our Airstream out oh about eight quarter mile out in the actual sand dunes themselves and so there's nothing around but a couple trees and great big dunes and that's where we get our solitude and quiet and you don't have to worry about um, somebody else's noise in the morning, and it's our own noise. So we've been going to dunes for 10 to 12 years. We always take our kids, uh, and more often than not, we'll take at least one other family with us, and sometimes it gets up to four, five, and six families. That's one of the things we love is that we started out being really inclusive, trying to get people into the Oregon dunes and see what they're really all about. We take the toys out and whether it's being on the quad and or watching our son on the dirt bike or now that we've graduated to a side by side because yes, we've gotten a little bit older, but it's still an adventure and so much fun. You know, it's just, it's exhilarating. It's, it's uh... free. Freeing, yeah. I mean, you, you roll across the top of the dune, like Lisa and I will usually ride in the back of our big group. We have, we'll have family rides, and so there'll be anywhere from 15 bikes and cars in a row to, I think our biggest was about 30. That's my big thing, is that there's just so much to do, you just can't ever get enough. You come back and you're dripping in sweat and tired, and an hour later you're ready to go back out. It's time to go. Is it time to go? Should we all go again? And that's what I like. It's a, the opportunity to, to just be free and not live by some big constraints or, you know, what's popular or not popular. Just go be you. Let your kids be them. And we've been doing this a long time. We started when our kids were about two. We started out in tents and then gradually moved into trailers. And this time we were lucky enough to bring an Airstream. Airstream is really unique because it's about the lifestyle. Um, so many people come up and they want to know exactly what you love about your model. Or, and it's just a tight knit community, a really a great feeling when you take the Airstream out. So when we got the opportunity to, to uh, bring the Flying Cloud out, I was real excited because it was a timeless, unique look and the Airstream is so comfortable, and everybody likes to come look at it. So when I have my creature comforts and, and you're comfortable and you can have six people in a 25 footer and feel like you have tons of room, that's what makes it a neat and that's what makes it an Airstream to me. Every family and friend, and definitely my kids and my husband, always tell me how I bring too many things in the trailer. Way too much food, way too many clothes, while the Airstream has a cubby hole for everything. I mean, it's amazing the amount of space that I can just stick a little here, stick a little there, and nobody complains. Nope, not till we hook it up to the truck. <laughs> The thing that got me over the top with an Airstream is when I was talking with a fella and they were talking about trying to figure out who of their children they're going to will the Airstream to. At that point I thought, okay, this is something that Definitely. I need to pay a little bit more attention to because it's exciting to be part of that group that feels so special about their trailer yeah. that they're arguing about which kid they're going to will it to. I guess the word I would use is readiness. So. When you do the spur of the moment Friday lunch phone call with your significant other that you just want to get away, the Airstream is so well built, thought out, planned out that its readiness is instant. You just have to throw a duffel bag in it. So the, the adventure part of me is going 
places doing things that I like that create a story that is um, not every day. So when I'm in town or talking to people or coworkers and stuff like that, I have stories of what I consider my adventure that they don't usually see that kind of get them excited or intrigued or interested. And that's what I call an adventure. And I'll be honest, the, one of the fun adventures is hooking up to a 25 foot flying cloud and dragging it out in the sand. That story will go forever. And people I don't even know that watched it said, you're not gonna believe this. This guy drove an Airstream right out in the sand. And that's the kind of stuff I like. That's what I call adventure. Creating memories for not only myself and my family, but for other people. But it is an adventure and it's a story and that's what I like about it is I'm creating things for other people and, and of course I'm enjoying it as well. And for us it's not all about the adventure. For us it really is about making memories with our friends and our, and our kiddos.